So hi, I'm uh, I'm Greg. Um, I am a senior uh, 3D specialist at Browseware. Prior to that, I have um, about 12 years uh, of menswear design uh, specialist, uh, specializing in denim and jersey. So I chose to show you this tip because denim fabric is such a, a big thing in the denim world and um, when you're designing a pair of jeans. You'll spend a long time going through very similar looking fabrics and picking out the, the best fabric that you think for that jean. And it might have slightly wider twill line, it might have pick up more slub through the wash, it might be a certain very nice tone of blue that, that washes down very nicely. And it's those finer, finer details that you really want to pick up when you're creating your 3D jean as well. You want to select and wash down the fabric exactly how it is in real life as it is in the 3D. So if you look at a denim fabric in detail, take a look at one of your pairs of jeans and really look at the detail. It's not just one color of blue or black. There's almost hundreds of tones of different levels especially when they're washed down. Okay, so if we zoom into the fabric here, you can see how many different levels of blue there are. So for your denim, depending on what tone or color you would like it to be, you really need to scan in the fabric um, as it's washed down. So a good place to take this, if it's from a pair of jeans, is either, for example, on the back calf, because there's not too much uh, whisker patterns and things like that on there. You want to take a scan of as flat a wash of it as possible. That means you don't get any highs and lows, um, too much pattern, um, but you get all these um, different levels of blue. So you get how the fabric is washed down. This is key as well to how the fabric is going to look in the final outcome here because the detail in denim and jeans is all about detail in the fabric. So for example, a, a stretch skinny jean might have a more compact fabric, might have a more compact twill line like this. And that means that the twill line is going to be less prominent when it's washed down. The same as different uh, denim fabrics take the wash differently. So you might get more slub line uh, in the wash running through it. So it's really key to, to scan in the fabric that you love and the key fabric that you want to use in a similar wash down and color tone uh, to what you want to use. This will then give you the most realistic difference and most realistic effect when you're creating your jean. So hopefully you'll use this tip on your jeans um, and you'll realize how different your jeans will look um, if you just make these finer adjustments.